the replay. This is Catherine Storing. How are you guys? Hey, Michael. Nice to see you again. How are you? Hey, Lemma. How are you? Nice to see you. Catherine Storing here. Thank you so much for watching the replay. Thank you for being here if you're live. Thank you, Lemma. You are always so awesome. You share like first thing on Twitter. I so appreciate that. Thank you so much. Is this Lemma? Lemma's daughter or Lemma's brother? <laughs> I can never tell who it is, but I'm happy either way. Hey, uh, Edward30, how are you? You doing awesome? Great. I'm doing good too. Really, really good. Hey, Lonnie, 67, anytime love. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you much. Hello, guys. How are you? SS Dart06, nice to see you. It's Lemma. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice to see you, darling. Nice to see you. How are you guys? I just have a quick question because I've been asking people all over today. Hey, Nurse Pab. Thank you for being here. I'm just asking everyone, and it seems like I'm not the only one. I just wanted to find out. Do you know that next week is Christmas? I had no idea. I know that I should know. Thank you, Lemma. I know that I should know because I do have a calendar. I have a watch. I have a phone. I mean, it's everywhere. And for some reason, it just, it's here, like next week. I think it's like next Friday or something. Is that right? For us, it's the 24th. We celebrate the 24th. Uh, my parents, yeah, Thursday. So my parents are coming over on Thursday, and I kind of totally forgot that it's next week. So last night, I totally freaked out and started buying presents on Amazon and online, which was good. And I had one more trip to do today. It was done. You haven't bought anything. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can spice stuff on Amazon. And you know what? I was telling someone today that I wish Christmas was just about the people and not about the presents. It has gotten to be so bad where people that have no money had to buy things just because it's Christmas. And I don't think that was the whole spirit of Christmas, but somehow that's the way that it's, it's, it is now. It's just like, uh, give me, give me, give me, buy me this, buy me that. And people are, and I know I'm just going to be honest and tell you that I used to be like that. And I would get really mad if someone did not get me the right, perfect thing. I have, I have you. That's enough. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's enough. Hey, Unruly Coils. That's an awesome name. Thank you so much for being here. We're just asking if you knew that next week is Christmas. Like, I totally forgot. Like, I had no idea. Thank you so much for the chocolate hearts. I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love them. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We're just, hey, uh, great core, maybe. Thank you for being here. We're just talking about Christmas. It's next week. You didn't know either? I know, Lonnie, it's crazy. Like, okay, I am not the only one. I feel better. I can breathe because I was feeling like an idiot. I was feeling like, how on earth did that happen? How on earth did I... I thought I had two weeks. I really thought I had two weeks. I didn't have to rush. I had everything under control. And all of a sudden, boom, it's next Thursday. Like, I have to have everything here before Thursday because my parents are coming and we actually open presents here on Thursday night. So Hispanics usually have a big dinner on the on Christmas Eve and we open presents after dinner and then we might watch TV or play some board games and that's what we do um, on Christmas Eve. And then and then Christmas Day, we do nothing. That's right, Lemma, right? You're Hispanic too. Christmas Day, we just hang out. We eat some of the leftovers. Um, just hang out because we, we already have opened all our presents and everything is done. But we do have to have everything ready and wrapped for Thursday and the house has to be clean and open my office is a disaster zone right now like crazy and I have books piled everywhere because I love I just went book crazy because uh, I love me some books so I got me books for Christmas hey Michael welcome back and in um, papers and stuff I know I'm getting ready to stop at the music store to put a keyboard on layaway oh that's awesome that's a great idea that's a great idea so who's that keyboard for on Ruli Coils that's a great idea because it's crazy. It's happening next week. That's insane. Um, so if you haven't bought anything for Christmas yet, uh, this is your service announcement. Next Thursday, your daughter. That's awesome. Next week is Christmas. Friday, you have to have everything by Thursday. Everything has to be done by, by Thursday, which is insane. So it's a little over a week, but not much, not much more than that. So if you're going to buy things, this is the time to do it now. Like, this is the time because it's coming. <clears throat> Unless you were able to talk your family into not doing um, 
presents this year and that would be totally awesome i will be so down for that that would be amazing hey lighthouse nice to see you so if you can talk your family into not doing christmas presents just having an amazing meal and laughing hysterically and playing board games i will be so up for that but i have an 11 year old uh, so that's not gonna fly i also have a niece who's six and my sister um, who wants some presents. So <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we have to buy presents. Um, I just think it has gotten kind of crazy. It's all about buying things. What do you guys think about that? Would you like to be just like Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. One of my most favorite, that and the 4th of July. Thank you so much for the green hearts and the, um, and the brown hearts. Really appreciate that. If you tap on the screen, that's how the hearts come up if you are connecting with what I'm saying. How would you guys feel if there were no presents on Christmas, but just an amazing meal with friends and family? Amazing meal, a lot of food, shop, QVC, see pay. Oh, that's awesome. QVC. Okay, I never shop at QVC. They do have some amazing needs. I never like this. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, I will be, Lonnie, I will be so happy. I would be so happy if next week all I had to do was make a lot of food and have enough and just laugh and play board games. I would be so happy if I got to do that. So maybe next year, as my daughter gets older, maybe I will be able to instill that. We are actually going to Disney World for Christmas. That's her Christmas present. We are going uh, the very first uh, day of the year, of the new year. We're going to spend it on the happiest day the happiest place on earth and i'm so excited about that because it's actually an experience we get to spend time together and have an amazing time so i'm looking forward to that but i wish that it was just about the experience and not presence it would be so awesome the good thing is that my daughter asked for books which i love what did your kids or your loved ones ask you for christmas i'm actually curious what did they ask you what do you have to find or do you know do you have any idea what you're gonna buy people in about less than a week. We will look at the old pictures and look back. Exactly, exactly. We're gonna have an amazing time. We're gonna be silly. It's gonna be nice and warm, Janice. Janice. So it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. <clears throat> but what if people ask you to get them for Christmas? I know that Unruly Coils is gonna get a keyboard for her daughter, which is awesome. Lemma, what are you getting? I know that you were saying that your money was kind of tight, but what are you gonna get your kids? What are you getting yourself? Do any of you, that's the first question. My daughter wants a wheel balance. A wheel balance. I don't know, like expensive, like a couple hundred dollars for next year. That's good. Next year is good. Next year will be an amazing year. It's going to be an amazing, amazing year. Like awesome. Super duper awesome. That is super cool. Awesome. <clears throat> what are you guys getting for people? I already bought everything I needed to buy. And it's, hey, um, JR, Edwards, Edwards, how are you? Junior, Junior Edwards again. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you guys for the hearts. Really appreciate that. I'm going to be doing a scope in a little bit about um, the behind the scenes of Styling Faith. I'm going to be doing that. Super excited about that. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So thank you so much. I just wanted to jump in here and ask you guys, let, let you know, first of all, that next week is Christmas. So if you missed the boat like I did, you got the gift. That's awesome. See, you got your Christmas uh, present early. You're well. I'm doing awesome. I am doing very well. Thank you for being here. Lemma, I'm so glad that you got your present. Welcome, Jennifer. Oh, good. Uh, when did you scope that? Because I missed it. Do you have a catch account? Because I would love to check it out. I haven't seen you, Lemma. I've seen Jenny, but I haven't seen you. So I would love to uh, to see you. That would be all. And I haven't seen Jenny. So I don't know if she, if she, if she tried on the dress. It will be today. Oh, today. So you did it already? So I can watch it. Boricua 2031. Okay, I can do that. I can check it out. That's awesome. That's the one thing I wish I have about Periscope, that you can have two people at the same time. That would be so cool. Super cool. But we don't have that. We have this. That's okay. Okay, I'll watch it. Okay, I'll watch it. So in about 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to jump on and I'm going to give you a behind the scenes of my office exactly as it is and what happens on uh, styling faith. I do gifts all year. So no more major gifts except we will get new furniture delivered in January. That's awesome. That is really awesome. <clears throat> That's a nice way to start the new year with new furniture, new life, new everything. Hey, Shao Crystal. Thank you for coming in. Thank you guys for the hearts. It is awesome. That's why I'm so excited about my vacation because I'm starting the new year, uh, having fun with my family, laughing at a 
an amusement park, which is awesome. You're very welcome. So I'm excited about that because it just, I think it's going to set the tone for the year. I am very excited about 2016, like crazy excited. So if you have been planning, if you need help planning your year, I'm going to do that next. Okay. <clears throat> if you need help with that, I am going to show you are going to have a great time. Yes, I will, Lonnie. Yes, I will. So if you need to plan 2016, you have to come back because it's going to be awesome. I'm going to help you plan 2016 in an amazing way. Okay. So if you need help planning and making amazing goals for the next year, I'm going to be talking about that. So it's very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. I have my list around here. Oh, I do. Here's my list for 2016. And that is um, business. This top is business. And the bottom here is personal. I'm very, very excited about that. I believe in that. And I will talk about that. So make sure that you stay in, that you're following me. So when the, you, you get the notice, jump in, get your notebook, get your pencil or your pen, because I am going to show you how you can plan the next year. Okay. Cause you got to plan now, not January 1st, get a plan right now. Okay. 